I fancy myself as a bit of a people watcher. Right. I don't think there's anything better than just watching how people react to, to certain things. And I was in a meeting on Monday, and you know, I know this that when often when people don't stand up for a, a, in front of a crowd of people and talk and stuff, which uh, I do as part of my job, I not only have to present things. But I also do a bit of training here and there, so hmm. I'm used to talking to people. And what a lot of people I find is that when they in a meeting and it's their chance to talk and they talk, there's this a build up of a bit of energy. And so, and when they finish talking, what they do is they then sh- shuffle their papers together hmm. or or neaten their pencil out or something like that. Some people take a glass of water. That's probably the most common. Is just go there. Yeah, I've done. Right. Right, and it's kind of because you have to put your energy into something and it's like, a, you know, that's it, that's where it's gone. Now then, the other day, um, the, a guy, he'd written something on his paper and then he was doing some talking and he, so he, he said his bit and then, I know, and then I watched what he did afterwards and he'd finished his bit and he, went, he picked up his pen and clicked it and then underlined one of the words he'd just written. Right. And, and it was, big, it was, there was no reason for it. It's just it's one of these little odd little things that humans. Did you see do. what it what it was? No, I don't. I, mean, I don't think there was no reason for him to have underlined his word. It was because he wanted people to think, "Oh yeah, I've finished my bit now. I'm just going to write another little bit." 